reading this verse and and I realized that I've read several times here. But I just found a revelation that is always here. That I want to share with you. Because always we preach revelations. Just right, Holy Spirit is the revealer. In other words, without Holy Spirit, we are in the dark. Without Holy Spirit, we don't have connection with God. If you can see there, you will see what Jesus was saying. The, the moment... He tried to tell them many things. Before that, he said, I can see that you are sorrowful. But these are the words he has finished. After he spoke many things, he said, No. I still have many things. But after I have spoken all to you, I can see that you can fail to handle all that I can say to you. So you need Holy Spirit. So it is advantage for you that I go away. Or you know, here Jesus was saying, it's an advantage that I go away so that you must not always depend on me. Holy Spirit will come and he will take what is of the Father and reveal that to you. If you look at this verse that I wanted us to look at today, 13, he says, however, when he, the Spirit of Truth, has come, he will guide you to all truth. Let me just say it again. He will guide you into all truth. In other words, there will be no day where you will find yourself in false. Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. And he will guide you into all truth and he will not speak of his own authority. In other words, Holy Spirit speaks here. He says, he will speak whatever he hears from the Father. You know, there's, there's no one who can say he knows Jesus unless he's filled with the Holy Spirit. Remember, we cannot talk about the Father. Except from Jesus. Here you can see that the Holy Spirit will take things of the Father which have been given to Jesus and them to us. Jesus declared on verse 15 and said, All things that the Father have belongs to me. In other words, the Holy Spirit is the one that will make you to be acquainted with what the Father wants you to know. After I read this, I said, we really need the Holy Spirit. But we cannot have the Holy Spirit without truth. Because he guides us to all truth. Look at this verse, maybe you can read it in John 14. If you can read 14, 21. The Bible says, he who has my commandment and keep them. It is he who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. 
Manifest, the word manifest means revealing reality. This shows that God wants to reveal some things to us. You know, according to the wisdom of the world, it's always limited. When Jesus looked at the disciples, he could see that they will be limited without Holy Spirit. And also, they could not hold all the knowledge. But when the Holy Spirit comes, they will be able to be informed by the Holy Spirit. How many times we are saying we are filled with the Holy Spirit when we speak in tongues? The but commandments we are failing to follow them. If we obey and do what He say, it will be possible for us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let me read that verse again. Verse 21 it says, He who has my commandment. In other words, we must yeah. have them. Not only them, keep them. Me, I lot And keep them. I lot Is he who loves him? In other words, you cannot say you have. And without keeping them. If you keep them. How lot it shows that you love Jesus. And the Bible says that person will be loved by my father. And he said, We will reveal. It's Jesus he says, I will reveal him and manifest myself to him. I will reveal myself to him. And manifest myself to him. We are supposed to see Jesus. Tell him, but we are supposed to see Jesus. Which I'm telling you, for it's not about what he is. Zalek Ali, come on, come on. In 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 15. Chapter 2, 15. You will understand what the Bible says. You will understand what the Bible says. Difference between us with those who do not understand Jesus. Le Baba sa kujishing mo na Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. Let me read for you. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet himself is rightly judged by no one. But he who is spiritual in other words, the unbeliever cannot discern, but the one who is spiritually filled by the Holy Spirit will always be in truth. Listen to this, the nature of a Christian who is filled by the Holy Spirit is really different with the nature of unbelievers. I've already told you that the unbeliever they are limited when we are filled with the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit will reveal things that the mind cannot dissect. When I was reading this, I began to worry how are we operating in the Spirit? And I began to and I began to remember what happened in the book of Daniel chapter 5. Daniel chapter 5. If you can read from verse 1, you will see, I mean, this man who dreamed. Belshazzar was a king by then. Belshazzar And the Bible says there were astrologers. All of them were there to, to explain the interpretation. I was very worried when I was reading about Belshazzar. I was very worried when I was reading about Belshazzar. The son of Nebuchadnezzar. If you can read, you'll be surprised to find that he was not learned. What happened to his father was a lesson to him. 
and started to use them to drink the all the people he trusted, they could not read. If he can read there, number one was it took the queen the queen was the one who said you see they are failing. Don't be surprised they are failing. But this one man who have got the spirit. Excellent spirit. That man by the time when your father was a king. He was the leader of these people you have called. Think about this young man who can be informed by the last minute. He could not consider Daniel. Because the Bible says when Daniel came there, he asked if he is the one. And then Daniel also wanted to be offered. Daniel They wanted to offer him things. And he said, I don't want such kind of things. You know, when I read that, I began to understand why many of us we operate in a wrong spirit. Because of the offer. Belshazzar had offer. He says, I can offer you this interpretation. But Daniel says, I don't want to hear something like that. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can we read verse 7 there? In the book of Daniel. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Verse 7. Let me read for you. Daniel 5, verse 7. And the king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And the, the king spoke, saying to the wise men, they were also wise men of Babylon, whoever reads the, this written and tells me its interpretation shall be closed with purple, and I have a chain of gold around the neck, and he shall be the third ruler or in the kingdom. Amen. Can you see the verse there? Yeah, one verse here. If you look that verse, you will see that already something was offered. There. But, but look at verse 13. Then Daniel was brought in before the king. Daniel and the king spoke and said, Daniel, are you? Are you that Daniel? Daniel who is one of the captives from Judah whom my father the king brought from Judah. This man was not intelligent at all. I just found something I want to tell you. If truly God wants you to be finished, he will allow you to live without revelation. If God wants you to be finished, you can have everything that people desire. It. But without revelation, you won't last long. You won't even understand people around you. Look at this man, he's still talking about Daniel he had. Yes. This Daniel is still existing. He referred Daniel as a slave. 
not as a leader of the people he trusts. Look here, when the king said, Daniel, you are a leader of astrologers, ah, wise men, or whatever. It's because Daniel interpreted a, a, a vision is when the king was tired. Look here, what the king was tired of was this. He have to come with a dream. They must come with interpretation. Listen, without the Holy Spirit, we will interpret what we don't understand. Always we will just hear the dream of others we interpret. We must reach a level where we understand the dream and the interpretation. That's why the Bible says, write the dream down. It will speak in the end. So most of the time we love to go in the end than in the beginning. I don't know if you're hearing this. Just so I say, we need to know the beginning. And the end. This is our challenge today. You know, if Daniel could not interpret the dream, he was supposed to have died with the wrong people. Because a revelation that is not revealed is still dangerous to you. A revelation which is not revealed is very dangerous for you. It's as good as you are staying in the house with a snake. And the snake is there but you cannot get revelation to find out. It's very dangerous for you. That's why the Bible says that is why Bible re, all the things that are revealed belongs to us. Kicharina. The secret things belongs to God. Can you tell them all the things that are revealed belongs to us? We need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Can you look at your somebody say we need the Holy Spirit? And the person say what? Can you read Deuteronomy 29 verse 29? Deuteronomy 29 say what? The sacred things belongs to the Lord. Our God. But the things which are revealed belongs to us and our children. You see that verse there? Are you there? Uh, read the verse, Mama. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. But the things which are revealed and disclosed belong to us and to our children forever, so that we may do all of the words of this law. Are you there? Can you just read uh, maybe Matthew? Let me just read Matthew 11. Matthew 11. Verse 20. Because I think this Matthew 11 would help us. I'll tell you why many of us we are in the dark today. It starts, it starts with our character. It starts with our lifestyle. You know, that time when Daniel finished to interpret, before he interpreted, before, before he interpreted, he said, Belshazzar, you know what happened to your father. He had pride. Even you now, you, you say, would you are falling by the same thing. And look here, this means many minutes of Pharisee. Many, many, many tekel of Pharisee. Many, many tekel of Pharisee. Many, many tekel of Pharisee. You are finished. But if we don't have revelation, we were supposed to have taken the chain 
are supposed to have taken the, the blessing and speak nice things. The king was trembling, but we said, King, fear nothing. Be strong. Because God wants to lift you. That hand means God is with you. Those are revelations we are giving to people. Without Holy Spirit. Why? Because we are looking at what they can offer. You know, I want to tell you that without revelation, we are in danger. Tell you without revelation from the Holy Spirit. We are in danger. Not long I was saying, especially as we are pastors. You know, really we are in danger. Maybe we are astrologers. Let's be fair like this one. So, so, we don't know. so that the right spirit will be visible. Let's be fair like the soothsayers. And, and we come and say, hey, we can't read it. And we, ask, we allow the ones who seek from God. If not, we will perish with those who are going to perish. Let me read uh, Matthew 11. Verse 20. Verse 20. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works has been done because they did not repent. Can you see the verse there? Yeah, one of the same. 21. He said, Who to you, Chorazin? This one is Chorazin. It's not Chorazin. It's Chorazin. Chorazin. Who to you, Chorazin? You to you, Besida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would, be, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. Amen. You see the verse there. But I say to you, there is no tolerable, tolerance, tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. Can you just look at verse 23 and 23. you Capernaum who were exalted to heaven will be brought down in haste or if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Sodom it will remain until this day let me show you verse 25 at that time Jesus answered and said I thank you father Lord of heaven, you know, here Jesus was speaking with a loud voice. But that voice was not too loud. But I want to read the way he was speaking. I thank you, Father. Lord of heaven. That you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. You know, after Jesus spoke that, he said, I thank you, Father. Think about it. Think about it. you are living without revelation. Jesus raised his voice. I thank you, Father. Because all these things have been revealed to babes. Those who are prudent, they know. Okay, let me just try to tell you why Jesus mentioned this verse. The first place was Chorazin. Chorazin and Capernaum were very close. And in Capernaum, there was a hot court of Jesus. Jesus 
will do everything outside and come back to Capernaum. Many things he did them in Capernaum. And Corazin was very close. So the people of Corazin will come by foot. They heard what was happening. And the people of Capernaum, they saw everything. Alright, let me try to tell you what Jesus said. Why he said Tyre and Sidon. Tyre and Sidon were the best cities by then. I want to tell you why I'm saying this. By the time of Elijah, if you remember, you find that Elijah went on the side of Sidon and went to a small place called Zarapat. When he was there, he was fed with a last plate. But he was coming from Judah, there was nothing. Can you just compare a widow having the last plate? Compare and God also sent, I mean, prepare this woman. I'm just giving you an example. Go and read about Solomon also. When he wanted to build the temple, he got things from Sidon. It was the seed of Sidon that is in Solomon. So, he was compared that these people when they are required, they responded. But these ones who have been given, they, they rejected. Let me say it again, what I'm trying to say. I'm saying the difference was whatever was required when the assignment was given in Sidon. It was presented. But these ones were given and they reject. So it, there were differences because the people of Sidon, Sidon, if they can be presented, any assignment they will do it. But these ones are from Judah. You know, they've been given, but they are rejecting. Can you just touch somebody and say, hey, you are being compared. If you are here today, are you sure you are on the line of the Holy Spirit? If the Holy Spirit is revealing something to you, are you obedient to obey? When Jesus spoke there, he said, oh, it has been revealed. Look at these people who think they are intelligent. Look at these people who have been given. It, it takes the grace of God to find that revelation and understand who was Jesus. Listen to this. They are with Jesus. They are miracles, but they could not believe. I don't know if you are hearing that. So it takes revelation for you to believe that Jesus was Messiah. Can you just believe the issue of, you know, you say you understand Christ, but you are still sinning? This shows that you like revelation. You say you are Christian, but here you are sinning. This is a lack of understanding that Jesus is Messiah. I don't know if you hear me. But if you reach a level where you find revelation, that's why Jesus said it will be revealed to babes. This has been revealed to babes. Okay, let me read. Going down, maybe you will understand everything. Jesus was excited here. He said, it has been revealed. He says, Verse 26, he said, even so, Verse 26, really Father, Tate, for so it seems good in your sight. 
All things have been delivered to me by my father. Dilo cheka ufelo akifilwe kawe na tate. He said no one knows the son except the father. Aona mtu ati bang murwa ka mta tate. No does anyone know the father except the son. Aona mtu ati bang tate isi murwa. And the one to whom the son wills to reveal him. And eliyo murwa arata umutulela yena. He takes Jesus and the holy spirit to reveal Uch, your salvation it takes the holy yeah. spirit to reveal the word in Uch, reality for you no one knows except jesus no one knows the father no one knows the father except jesus no one knows jesus except the father if you look at the scripture it says look at verse 27 verse 27 the second stand of that verse it says no no does anyone know the father except the son and the one to whom the son wills to reveal him it takes the father and Jesus to decide to reveal to you you know when I found this I said all of us we can still come to church but we go to hell the son wills not you that's what the Bible says when you are still sinners Christ died for you when you are still sinners you it means you are not Christian because you want it it takes a revelation for you to find stand with the Lord that is why you can still come to church you can still, you can still say you attend church or another church whatever, but you are not a Christian because you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit I don't know if you're hearing me. You can still associate yourself by the name of the church. But the character reveals you. It takes him, his will. If he doesn't want, he won't be. I don't know if you hear me. I guess I'm Tell me about, if he doesn't want, ah, even if you try, you won't be. Okay. Now, now you understand that the things of God it's not by force. It's not by, by forces. It decides. I, I once told people that uh, I, I went to a place where people pray in Nigeria several times. And then that time, I will tell you another thing that I saw, except the ones that I saw them dying say they are ready to die. Okay. I was with one of my friends. And he said, Oh, I want to pray. And I said, Okay, let's go. 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 We climb on top of mountain. When you climb that mountain, you leave your shoes. You just leave your shoes, you climb. On top there is a, is a stone. We climb on top of top there is a stone. And then when we are standing there, the stone, you know, it's hot in Nigeria. So that man chose a place which is very hot to wait for. To his security, security. He said, we'll pray here. I could not tolerate. Because when I'm praying, I have to do like this. I have to do like this. So when I'm doing like this, turning around, those guys, they are doing like this. You see their face. So, I looked down there, I saw some people were naked. And they were rolling down. Rolling down. I was saying, we are here. We are in hell. Are uh, rolling down there, coming like this. So I could not speak with him and say, hey. Because even him, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's how many Nigerians love to pray. Yeah, pray 
And then, but my concern was there. I could not see their clothes. But they are rolling down there. So I began to say, ah, me, I'm worried about this. I'm worried. These people are rolling. I began to say, yeah, 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 yeah. It's only when I left the place. I heard that it's not by the works you have done. It's by the grace. You know, when I began to say, you know, question that, I understand what we are trying to do to ourselves to get Holy Spirit. Whereas in the book of Acts 2, it was saying, go and wait. Go and wait. Even the first thing was not even mentioned. Go and wait. Waiting in the scriptures. Go and wait. Be united. And the time will come. You know, that's what we are normally doing. We are doing a lot. You are, you are also doing something. Look at your neighbor and say, you are doing something. It's not by the works we have done, it's by the grace. So if we reach that level, we will check our lifestyle. I don't know if you are hearing me. How many of you want to check your lifestyle? Your character. If you do that, the Holy Spirit will reveal something to you. It is called Holy Spirit. It means you must be holy. Can you just open this scripture? In Romans 16, verse 25. Verse 25. It says, Now, to him who is able to establish and strengthen you in the faith according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery of the plan of salvation, which has been kept secret for long ages past. Look, that verse says, It's only him who is able to establish and strengthen. Him, Jesus. Him, Jehovah. Look here, unless we rely on Him, we will find many formulas that we will derive from your not long I found that we have got many formulas we are getting. But I, I can give you some things maybe, but I'm not criticizing anyone. Let me give you one formula. Jesus, Jesus went to the bush, bush fasting for 40 days and 40 days. Jesus we lie and I ain't a fit I cannot do my church I for the bush you want on Jesus was not searching for the Holy Spirit. Jesus on us are you qua who wrap a like on a young come on your hand along. Do you remember that after he was baptized? They have another camera or high at all cool with the spirit came more your feet. You remember? Yeah, hopefully. And is the spirit who directed him? And I'm giving my own arm we should change quality cool with you. Now we are turning it. We are using fasting as a formula to get Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit came to Jesus after baptism. And do you know that when Jesus was 12 years, he was quoting scriptures. And it was not yet the issue of Holy Spirit be coming to you. And the first thing we need to do now, let's quote scripture. Let's live life from scripture. I don't know if you're hearing me. When the Holy Spirit comes, He will direct us to our first things. We are developing things which are not scriptural. Now we want to fast to get Holy Spirit here. You are no, killing no, yourself. Holy Spirit, if it's in you, 
before you receive him when or you have him, him, check your life. Check the life you are living. If your life is holy, you are a candidate of the Holy Spirit. Not that when your life is not holy now, you use fasting. Don't use fasting, eat. And check your character. How are you living? Can you tell your neighbor, hey, don't use fasting. Get the Holy Spirit. If you do that, it's a hunger strike. You are using a slogan against God. <laughs> House, 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 If you read there, you will see that one of our judgment was the lack of knowledge. Yes. Can you just read that verse 11? 11. Yes. Wu, meaning judgment is coming to those who rise early in the morning to pursue intoxicating drink. Who stay up late in the night till wine inflames them. They have lyre and a harp, tambourine and flute, and wine as their feast. But they do not regard nor even pay attention to the deeds of the Lord, nor do they consider the work of his hands. Therefore, my people go into exile because they lack knowledge of God. And their honorable men are famished. And their common people are perched with thirst. Therefore, Sheol, the realm of death, has increased its appetite and opened its mouth beyond measure. And Jerusalem's splendor, a multitude, her boisterous uproar, and her drunken revelers descend into it. So the common men will be bowed down and the men of importance degraded and the eyes of the proud arrogant will be degraded but the Lord of hosts will be exalted in justice and God the Holy One will show himself holy in righteousness through his righteous judgment. Can you see that verse there? Can you read the last verse, man? But the Lord of hosts will be exalted in justice, and God the Holy One will show himself holy in righteousness through his righteous judgments. I just want to read the verse there. Okay, look at this verse 12. Verse 12. It shows that there is a celebration. But the celebration is a wrong one. Okay, look at verse 13. 13. It says, therefore, my people have gone into captivity. Because they have no knowledge. You know, here God was like worried. You see that verse there? My people have gone into captivity. Why? Because they don't have knowledge. Remember, the Holy Spirit will come to give us knowledge wisdom understanding here the Bible says my people have gone when they have got nothing to do that to celebrate they are always drunk you know to be drunk here it means 
they have been taken aside by the wrong teachings. Look, let me read it again. Verse they say, therefore, my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Their honorable men are famished and the multitude dried up with thirst. There is no word of God. What they have to do, they have to intoxicate themselves. But the teaching that makes them to sin against God. Why? Because they lack knowledge. If you read verse 14, it says, Therefore, Sheol has enlarged itself. And open its mouth beyond measure. Their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he who is jubilant shall descend into it. People shall be brought down, each man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. Listen, this shows that this is a punishment that is coming. This punishment shows that you will be humbled. You are intoxicated by the teachings when that mislead you. you. When you stand up, you are enjoying yourself. With everything that God doesn't want you to eat. Now, Sheol has opened its mouth. In other words, death is inevitable. In fact, we are declared that because we lack knowledge, we are, we are as good as we are worthy to be buried. Or we cannot add any impact to what God want to do. Without revelation, it's dangerous. Without revelation, we will just die without understanding what is said and misdirected by wrong teaching. You know, uh, most of the time, if we don't teach this, we will teach what we are finding from others. If we don't teach this, this the Bible shows is the light. The light that reveals the darkness. But now, if we cannot have that revelation, we will fail to descend. In fact, a gift of discerning is a gift of every Christian. We are, we are not supposed to be misled. I pray that today God will open your eyes so that you will not make friends who are not friends. I want to show you something that Jesus did and then still the disciples were not even understanding. By the time when they were sitting for the last supper the Bible says you know Jesus took a bread and say because they were asking each other what Jesus said he says is the one that when I put this bread, he will do the same on the same place these people could not even understand they were supposed to have beaten Judas I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. If you read there, after he did that, Jesus, Jesus did it. Their understanding were blocked. If you want to see what Jesus said, he said, what you want to do, do it quickly. 
Judas stood up. Judas Look what they said. The disciple, they say because he was giving money. Maybe he sent to do something. Ah, this is the man Jesus revealed. You know, even today we still sit down. After somebody has been revealed. We still think he's in the assignment of the living God. Let's leave that, but I want you to understand this. How can the disciples after Jesus revealed Judas and when Jesus said do it quickly, what you want to do? When Judas stood up all these guys were Peter and, uh, they said, uh, you know what? Is the second uh, they send him for another I'm sure, I'm sure when we finish eating, we are going to eat somewhere. This guy's revelation was nothing. I understand. It's before the Holy Spirit came. Uh, without the Holy Spirit, You'll think people who are betrayers are still carrying on with their assignment. You, you just think that the betrayer can still be called by God and do another assignment. Because you can't see. You, you can still listen to the betrayer. A betrayer can still prophesy. A betrayer, you can still judge him better. I pray today that God will open your eyes today so that you won't be robbed. If you believe, shout hallelujah. How many of you believe that God is opening your eyes today? Opening your understanding? Let me just read this scripture with clothes. In the book of Psalm. If we read Psalm 25. I wish you can go and read the whole psalm. The whole psalm 25. Psalm 25. Can you just read in your Bible the whole psalm? Read. Read it louder. In your Bible. Psalm 25. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust, and I rely on you with steadfast confidence. Do not let me be ashamed, my hope in you be disappointed. Do not let my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, none of those who expectantly wait for you will be ashamed those who turn away from what is right and deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed let me know your ways O lord teach me your path guide me in your truth and teach me for you are the god of my salvation for you i wait expectantly all the day long remember O lord your compassion and your loving kindnesses for they have been from of, from of old do not remember the sins of my youth of my transgressions according to your loving kindness remember me for your goodness sake O Lord good and upright is the Lord therefore he instructs sinners in the way he leads the humble in justice and he teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and goodness and truth and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my wickedness and my guilt, for they are great. Who is the man who fears the Lord with reference O? and inspired reference and worships him with submissive wonder. He will teach him through his word in the way he should choose. His soul will dwell in prosperity and goodness 
and his descendants will inherit the land. The secret of the wise conceal of the Lord is for those who fear him. And he will let them know his covenant and reveal to them. Meaning, my eyes are continually towards the Lord. For he will bring my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me. For I am alone and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out of my distress. Look upon my affliction and my trouble. And forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies. For they are many. They hate me with cruel and violent hatred. Guard my soul and rescue me. Do not let me be ashamed or disappointed. For I have taken refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness protect me. For I wait for you. O oh God, redeem Israel out of all his troubles. This is Amen. The, this psalm, let it be your prayer. Allow this psalm to be a prayer to you. Wake up in the morning and read this. Until you know that you can talk it. If we can read from 12. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way he chooses. Look at verse 3. He himself shall dwell in prosperity. And the descendants shall inherit the earth. the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. And he will show them his covenant. So this is a verse that I want you to see. The Lord wants to show you his covenant. I want to tell you, covenant shows how we work with God. Agreement. You know what is agreement? Agreement means, okay, you and me, we agree on this. And if we agree on this, this is the promise. So God wants to show us his covenant. He wants to walk with us. He wants to guide us. And we will live in prosperity. Listen, poverty is not your portion. If you are guided by the Lord, He will provide. Because wherever He leads, He guides. God loves you. He wants you to have him. You must be filled by him. People must see him in you. These past weeks, I've been speaking one thing. I was saying, you know, when you're a Christian, why are you afraid of a witch? I'll tell you something. Any sound that comes out of your mouth is an explosion to the enemy. Even when you are not saying Jesus, if you say, <coughs> <coughs> it's an explosion to the enemy. Because you minister fire. Open your mouth, you bring I don't know if you are hearing me. What you need is what? Holy Spirit. So that he can reveal. Most of the time we, we question why Jesus said to Peter. It's not flesh and blood. That has revealed that truth. It's my father who is in heaven. We need to reach that level so that we must not make mistakes. If we reach that level, we'll get out from blaming people because we are working with the Lord. And 
and we have confidence with him. And I perna le khwerano le murai. We live in prosperity. Rito pila ka ra tshelo pele ka ra ka teo. 2019 prosperity is here. 2019 ka teo ke rena. If you believe say amen. How do we believe amen? 